don't belong to this world. They dropped me off on the wrong planet at the wrong time. I like the ancient world. I don't like technology. I just don't like it. And all that machinery, I don't web, I don't sight, I don't Google, I don't E, and I don't crash. So as a teenager, I got my education outside of the usual universities, colleges. I went directly to the masters. My exposure was to what they call the West Coast School of Photography. Viner White was the, was the one that impressed me the most. Ansel Adams, great photographer, wonderful landscapes. But Miner moved more in the spiritual area. He thought about things. He wanted to involve the psyche and what these photographs might mean that you take. Ansel liked to take things for what they are. And Miner would photograph not only for what they are, but for what else they are. In order to be a good photographer, you need to work more on your emotions than you do on your technique. So music is an avenue where it enlivens my feelings. It feeds, nourishes my emotional system. And if I have that as my assistant, then what I see takes on something from the heart. Silence is the greatest influence. Without that, you can't see or hear anything. And I don't, I don't talk or figure out my pictures before I make them. That would interfere with my stance of silence. A lot of image makers will talk themselves. Oh, well, now if you put it on zone five and you do this and, oh, that composition, well, I should leave out blah, blah, blah. You know, too much noise. I like surprises. And I wait until something, you know, I can just turn my head, boom, there it is. As a matter of fact, I was being called to supper when I saw that picture. And it was the last light of the day, the very last. And I thought, I have to get that picture. And I very quickly set it up, focused, put my film in, made the exposure and the light left, the sun went down. What did I have to do with it? Luck. And I'm constantly experimenting and I'm discovering. And one of the discoveries jumps out of the tray and says, you can go to lunch now, you got it. You bring nature here. As you can see, I have my collection of shells and stones and whatever hits my eye. I bring it in here and I work in that corner and make still lifes. I don't want to repeat the formula over and over again. I want to be free enough to see every day with fresh eyes.